For our final feature, we provide audio from the launch of the book Unearthing Justice, How to Protect Your Community from the Mining Industry by author Joan Koyuk. The launch took place Friday, November 15th at the Social Innovation Center of St. Paul's University in Ottawa, Ontario. Joan Koyuk is the founder of Mining Watch Canada, the Ottawa-based mining watchdog organization. Koyuk's book chronicles decades of lessons learned from fighting an industry which has captured government policymakers and regulators to the detriment of the environment and indigenous communities. The event was opened by Monique Manach, representing the unceded Algonquin territory on which the event was taking place. And so I'm really pleased and thrilled that there are people here like you who are fighting this and knowing that I'm not alone. My community is not alone. That there are people like the bear who will help us, who know that what is happening to the Mother Earth is wrong. And so I think Joan is a leader amongst those. And I'm very, very honored to be here tonight to tell you that little story and to open this space for you. Joan Kuyuk was interviewed by fellow Mining Watch Canada co-founder Jamie Kneen. Among other points raised was the under-acknowledged role of mining as a waste management I, industry. I crammed about mining technical stuff when I applied to work at Mining Watch. And I suddenly realized that mining was a waste management industry. And what was left behind was much more significant than even the biggest nickel deposit in probably the world. That for everything they took out, and they, the companies now say a trillion dollars worth of wealth, they had left behind this incredible amount of damage. Most of the workers when I moved there couldn't even live past their retirement date because they died as soon as they retired and two-thirds of the workers were leaving on disability. Mining is at the forefront of the colonialist project, as Joan Koyak notes here. Mining is uh, the cutting edge of, <clears throat> of colonialism. I mean, I, it's, and we mine in different ways. I mean, I, I talk about metal and diamond mining in the book, but industrial agriculture is also a form of mining. Um, it mines the soil. And there's many, you know, fossil fuels is another one, and I don't talk about fossil fuels. But it's, um, what happens is that, that the people who want to extract that thing, um, whether it's furs or fish or, or metals, um, lay claim to it and, and feel it's their right once they've laid the claim to take it. And they don't have any regard, generally, for the people whose livelihood it is and was. Um, and in mining, that's called free entry. Once you stake the land, stake the claim, you have established your right in Canadian law to go right to the development of the mine and the production of it, with some small steps in between. So it's the moment for First Nations when, when and Inuit people and Métis, when, when the third party interest is established on the land. Like, why, why, what right do they have to be there? What right do they have to be there? I'd like to welcome Meryl Durangene from <laughs> what we call Northern Alberta from Treaty 8 territory uh, to join Joan for another little discussion. I come from a long line of activists. Uh, Dene people are notorious for being quite uh, oppositional to the colonial structures. Um, and my parents, you know, I, I always make a joke that I was born into activism, but I really was. The way that I organize is first you have to open our eyes to that there is that problem. And then we have to open ourselves to be, believe that we have the power to do something. So we have to go through those cycles. And you have to nurture community. And one of the most radical things to do in this day and age of hyper-individuality and accumulation of wealth and you know, really predicated on these the ideologies of like colonization to come, take, you know, become rich and powerful systems of white supremacy is to nurture relationships and build community that is not reliant on those systems.
Joan Koyak's book, Unearthing Justice, is available in independent bookstores nationwide. Ms. Koyak is also available to speak to communities about the book should they be willing to invite her. Audio for this report was provided by Greg McDougall of equitableeducation.ca. You're still listening to Groundwire Community News, broadcasting from coast to coast to coast and available online at www.groundwirenews.ca. Now it's time for our community radio report. Some communities across Canada.